Hey, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is an engine we just got done with for Cody Young. Kind of old school deal. Uh, I mean, way back in the day, you used to do a lot of these uh, blow through carb, small block Chevrolets. And uh, now we just don't really do that very much. And this is going in Cody's 73, I'm sorry, 70 split bumper uh, Camaro. It's 70 or 71. Split bumper, anyways. And uh, really nice. And like, not even the uh, frame rails aren't even tied together yet. So, I mean, a stock car, but it's really clean, super nice car. Now, this is 400 cubic inch. Uh, and Cody actually brought us the block and the heads. Has an AFR 245, has a, a dart uh, block, little M block. Oh, and he brought us the intake manifold too. So, we set them up with everything else here. Uh, and this has an F2 supercharger. And uh, of course, has our rotating assembly, has a, a small block, uh, you know, I'm sorry, has a 3750 stroke crankshaft with a big block Chevrolet snout and balancer on it because these small block balancers and small block snouts are notorious for ripping the balancers off them because they don't have enough diameter. So that's a little tech tip for you. You really need to have a big block snout if you're going to have a, a uh, cog drive. Uh, blower so Cody wanted to have a uh, you know be real good horsepower and uh, pump gas which these things will do and then have a race gas tune with just a simple uh, pulley change now this one has uh, you know it's much more street strip obviously it's a solid roller our stage 2 camshaft and it has we still duff this with the Kometic style head gasket versus the you know doing a SMX hoop and copper o-ring receiver groove kind of deal so this is really old school, conventional kind of way of doing this whole thing. So we're going to put the camera down and uh, we'll go in. Well, before I do that, we, you can even see the distributor, you know, MSD system in the, the whole shebang. So pretty nice, easy, uh, old school kind of way of doing things. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, you know. Now we don't have a bell on here or anything like that because we, we're not looking for max horsepower of this thing. Uh, we're already... Uh, a little bit above where he was want or where he thought he wanted to be anyway so um what i'm going to do is we're going to go out we'll make a pull on this thing and i'll show you what we already ran with pump gas and then what we're uh, now running in the race gas tune and you can obviously see it's in intercooled etc etc um, but uh just a nice good old uh, combination it does have crower shaft rockers i mean cody spent money to make things nice and right uh, but not so much so just to try making max amount of horsepower. That is not what this build is about. This is a streetcar deal uh, for, for Cody's uh, Camaro uh, to go out and have fun with, drive, play with, and uh, just have a good time. So anyways, I'm gonna set the camera down and we'll take a look at numbers. Let's take a look at some numbers and uh, I think Cody is pretty happy with that oh yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah stoked up right let's see here so you can see we are at zoom in just a little bit 1379 7500 it's actually still climbing through here but Cody doesn't really want to uh, really run it run past here it's it's basically way exceeding what he was needing for the car here. This was actually just kind of a glory pull. Put some put some uh, C16 in it, and uh, you know a little more timing, turn it up just a little bit, see what it would do. Mainly going to run in pump gas most of the time, driving around. Pump gas slash race gas. Pump gas, say a little bit of mix or whatever, just to make it safe. But you can see here it's still climbing really high. I mean, it made its peak torque out here at 7,500 RPM too. At or 7400 RPM, it's 965. 
So all the way down here at, uh, scroll in just a little bit there. See all the way down at uh, 4,200, it's uh, 710 foot-pounds of torque, 5,000 is 806, and then uh, 6,000 is 908 foot-pounds of torque, 1,040 horsepower, 6,500 is 937 torque, and uh, then we start counting on horsepower here, and so 1,379 all the way up there. So that is looking pretty sweet. So let me show you what it made on, so that's on the race gas tune. And then what we made on pump gas here. Let me back out the screen just a little bit. And then on our pump gas, oh, I'm sorry. Then that is with, we'll go back here and look at boost. Probably made 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds exactly right there. So 20.1, 20.5, right there's your boost. And uh, just, gets it just gets up there just a tick right up there in those two spots so probably a little we could probably put just a little bit of fuel in it right there but and we pulled a little jet right out the very yeah and we pulled a little bit of jet out of it just in this last one and we're just working on that uh, fuel curve there so that all looks really good right there now if we go back and look at our pump gas tune and those are all the tunes that we've had in it to, or uh runs we've had in it today let's see where were we at I have to remember oh 18 yeah 18 there we go and uh on 93 octane and actually this thing would pretty easily do it on 91 it really doesn't matter uh 1202 horsepower and it was still climbing up here so actually we just i just kind of pulled back short because uh, we just didn't really need to make any more horsepower up there. So it probably would have made I don't know, probably uh, another 20 so probably made like 12 20 or so if we would run it all the way up to 75 uh, Again, you know the torque just started leveling off on this one right through here <clears throat> But mainly because we have a little less timing in it for the pump gas um, Still, you know 893 foot-pounds of torque 1202 horsepower on uh, pump fuel and then uh, 1379 on race gas with just a pulley chain and, and some timing. So, all really nice, really sweet deal. I think that's going to be a really nice piece. I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris, or have a nice day.